Today is officially the last day of summer and Columbia never made it to 100 degrees. Meteorologist Danielle Miller is taking a look back at our weather patterns and what kept our afternoons a bit cooler than normal. If you've thought that our temperatures this summer haven't been as famously hot as they typically are, you're not wrong. Last summer we had consistent temperatures above normal um, in May, June, July, and August. Um, and this summer we were below normal all of those months except for July, and we were at least for high temperatures in the afternoon. Last summer we had a total of 108 days at or above 90 degrees. Meanwhile, this year we have only seen 66 days at or above 90. Pierce Larkin, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Columbia, says there's a big indicator that could be the reason for the cooler afternoon highs. Really, the main driver that I found um, was that the, the biggest difference was the um, the rainfall. I mean, we had so much rain this year in the spring, especially in May. Last year, rainfall across the Midlands was below average almost every month. Meanwhile, this year we've seen record breaking rainfall since December. The key to this rainfall and our temperatures can also be linked to our saturated soils. When water evaporates, the air around it cools as heat is removed from the atmosphere, similar to when you sweat. So if you have a really saturated ground, there will be more evaporation in the afternoons. If the ground is really dry, there's less evaporation and temperatures are able to warm even more. It's important to note that our average temperature this summer has been almost equal to last year's average. That's because our morning lows have consistently been above normal, something we expect to continue with climate change. And of course, while we enjoy the taste of fall this week, we can't completely rule out any more hot days as we head into October. We are called famously hot for a reason. Looking at the models right now, it really looks like on some of the indices, it really looks like it's gonna be favored for um, us to keep keep it a little bit cooler over the next few weeks. But um, I mean, we may have a 90 degree day or two pop up in there. I mean, it would be it would be uh, shocking at this point if we hit 100 between now and mid-October. In Columbia, Danielle Miller, News 19 WLTX.